Ford has just reported a pretty insane increase in their electric vehicle deliveries in the US. In April of 2022, deliveries up 140%, which is extremely good news. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. It's great to see you here. My name is Sam Evans, coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. To give you some context first, yes, sales are up 140%, which is great, but the number is still pretty low. Number of deliveries in April, 16,780. So let's just call it 17,000. That's really good. I mean, that's kind of like Xpeng level deliveries, right? If you don't know who Xpeng are, then you should know. I'll put some links in the description to my videos about Xpeng. So, I mean, to be fair, fair is fair. It's, you know, Tesla do, do what? About 100, probably, I would say in April, maybe 100,000 EVs, considering the factory in China was shut down for a few weeks. So 17,000 is good, and it's certainly good to see this increase. But in context, the Tesla is still not that much. But, 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 we might see Ford ramp up significantly this year, considering F-150 Lightning pickup trucks are being manufactured right now. Ford plan on ramping up production. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Ford said this sales increase can be attributed to the Mustang Mach-E and the recent launch of Ford's e-transit van, electric van, which is pretty cool. These are currently Ford's only EVs available for purchase. Delivery are surging Ford's transition to electric cars with an unprecedented growth despite tough market conditions. Now, that's true. As a quote from Deserati. I think they're being a bit optimistic here. I'm still disappointed in Ford's electric vehicle deliveries this year. There's still a lot less than what Ford has pretty much been promising us. But that said, let's be positive here. We might as well. I mean, they could have still been bad like they were the first three months of the year. They were pretty bad considering there was pretty much no growth over the first quarter of last year. But this is a, a big change. Hopefully, this is the start of a much better future for Ford's electric vehicle deliveries. Direct quote from Ford. While industry semiconductor chip shortages persist, improved inventory flow in April delivered a significant share gain of one percentage point over a year ago with Ford outperforming the industry. I don't know about that. Ford VP of sales, distribution and trucks, Andrew Frick said. Inventory flow bolstered stronger F-Series, Mustang Mach-E, E-Transit, and record April Ford brand SUV sales. We are now shipping all models of the electric F-150 Lightning. Now, to be fair, Ford's vehicle sales, not electric vehicle sales, but vehicle sales period, are down, well, they're down about 20% this year versus last year. So that's a little bit of marketing there from Ford, saying they're up by a gain of one percentage point over a year ago. Unless they know something that we don't about April. Mac E celebrated its best month since launch with a 61% increase in sales from March and a 95% increase from sales in April of 2021, which is great news. The impressive sales record for Ford in April of 2022 put the vehicle in second place for electric SUVs, trailing only the Tesla Model Y. But it was in that same position last year as well. Through April, Ford said Mustang Mac E sales have totaled 10,539. On top of that, the E-Transit celebrated a 62.3% increase in sales from March to April, with a total of 1,575 sales so far in the US in 2022. The E-Transit has outsold the combined sales of other commercial electric vans, which totaled 42 vehicles through April. <laughs> what? Come on, US, you can do better than this. 42 vehicles in April from everyone else except Ford. What are you guys doing? Wake up. Overall, Ford sold 177,000 vehicles in April, a 10.5% decrease from the 197,813 it sold in April of 2021. Ford is down 15.3% 
from its, for its sales from January to April this year with 609,000 deliveries so far. Last year, at the same time this year, Ford had sold or delivered 720,000 vehicles through its Ford and Lincoln brands. But by the way, that was down on the previous year by quite a bit. Now, let's just face facts here. It's definitely going to be hard for Ford because, well, think about it like this. If you could buy an iPhone for the same price as a Nokia 3310, what would you do? Serious. Serious question. If you could buy an iPhone for the same price as a Nokia 3310, what would you do? But say you could do that. You just had to wait two years for delivery. What would you still do? I mean, personally, I still wouldn't be willing to buy a piece of junk, Nokia 3310, unless I absolutely had to. So my question is, what will Ford do when, say, next year, even in 2024, no one wants their internal combustion engine version of this pickup truck? Because let's face facts, how long is it going to take before commercial customers, before the average Ford customer realizes that Ford has a great product, right? A much better product than their gas-powered F-150s or their gas-powered F-250s or just their gas-powered trucks in general. How long will it take? That's kind of scary to think about because Ford sales are going down so quickly right now. And ultimately, the F-150, F trucks, trucks in general, are where Ford makes almost all their money. So that's what I've got to ask you today. What should Ford do? I've got to say, I am a little concerned, but I am really happy to see these electric vehicle sales increase so much in April. I mean, I'd been going on, I'd been, I'd made, I made a video about Ford's abysmal must they make e-sales for the first quarter of this year, which frankly were abysmal because Ford said, they promised us, they promised us, they said, we're going to stop production of another electric SUV that we were going to make. We've already made that SUV. It's amazing. We're not going to make it anymore because we're going to ramp up production of the Mac-E. And that ramp up didn't happen. But this month, it's here. It's good to see. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Have a great day. Bye-bye.